Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we shall be looking at the topic subtraction table in modular arithmetic. In this arrangement, you'll be given the numbers in rows and columns. Here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the row part, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the column part, of which the calculation is to be done in modulo 5. So before you should be able to know how to resolve these questions, in order to fill in the numbers, the required digit numbers that will be in each of these cells, you will be told the parts that will be the first number and the parts that will be for the second number. In this our instance, the column here represents the first number. That means all the numbers here we mention first before we mention this one. All right, so the numbers in rows are the second number, while the numbers in columns at the first number and we have to perform the addition in mode 5. So to find the number that will be here, the connection between this cell is the number that align both in the row and number that align at the column. So it has to be the connection between 1 and 1. What is the connection here? The connection here is between 2 and 3. So what it means is that for us to perform this uh, operation of subtraction, if we are to get anything that will be in this cell, for example, all we need to do is to mention this one first because the connection between this is 1 and 2. So all we need to do is to mention this one first because these are the first numbers that we have to mention. So since the connection here is between 2 and 1, all we need to do is to say 2 minus 1. That will tell us what we are going to have here. So that's how to get the connection for this particular place the connection is between 3 and 3 so what we have to do is to mention this one first that's 3 minus 3 we tell us what we're going to have here for this part we have to say 4 minus 2 we tell us what we're going to have here so let's get started but just mind you we are not going to be having negative in any of our cells here all right so we start with this this is 0 versus 0. So we have to mention anyone that exists here first. So 0 minus 0 will give us 0. So we have 0 here. So in the next cell here, we have it as 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1. That will give us minus 1. And once it gives you a negative, you add the modular to that number. That will now be plus 5. So 1 plus 5. Minus 1 plus 5 will give us positive 4. So what we are going to be having here will be positive 4. So for this part, it has to be 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2. And 0 minus 2 will give us minus 2. You add the modulo to it, that is plus 5. And that will give us positive 3. So that means we are going to be having 3 here. So for this part, it has to be 0 minus 3. And 0 minus 3 will give us minus 3. You add the modulo to it, that is 5. And that will give us 2. So 2 is what we are to have here. Then 0 minus 4, 0 minus 4, that will give us minus 4. Then you add the modulo to it, that's plus 5. And what we are going to be having there will be what? 1. So we have 1 here. So that is how to fill the first row. So to get to other cells, for this part, we have to say 1 because we have to mention any number that exists here first before we mention the one that are lying here. So that will have to be 1 minus 0 will give us 1. Then 1 minus 1 will give us 0. Then for this part, we have to now say for this part will be 1 minus 2 will give us minus, 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 will give us minus 1. They will have to add the modulo 3 to make it positive. That will give us 4. So that means what we are going to be having here will be 4. Sorry, that should be here. Alright, so 1 for this part, 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2. Just like this one. So what we are going to be having plus 5. That will be giving us 3. So we're going to be having 3 here. So for this part, 1 minus 4 will give us minus 3. 
minus 3 just like we have minus 3 here so minus 3 plus 5 will give us 2 so this is exactly how to make the arrangements in terms of subtraction table in modular arithmetic so let's fill in the, uh, the remaining parts that's 2 minus 0 will give us 2 2 minus 0 will give us 2 then here is 2 minus 1 will give us 1 then 2 minus 2 will give us 0 then here 2 minus 3 will give us minus 1 so whenever we have minus 1 you have to add plus 5 to it that will give us positive 4 we have it as 4 here then for this part that will be 2 minus 4 will give us minus 2 so where we have minus 2 here then you have to add 5 that will give us 3 remember the idea here is that you must not have a negative in any of these cells all right so for this part that will be 3 minus 0 will give us 3 3 minus 1 will give us 2 3 minus 2 will give us 1 3 minus 3 will give us 0 then for this part 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1 so when you have minus 1 add the modulo to it that will give us 4 all right so to fill in the remaining parts that will be 4 minus 0 will give us 4 sorry that will give us 4 here then here will be 4 because we mentioned anything that exists here first 4 minus 1 will give us 3 then here 4 minus 2 will give us 2 yeah here 4 minus 3 will give us 1 then 4 minus 4 Will give us zero. So this is how to perform the operation of subtraction in modular arithmetic. Have a nice day. Bye.